you can build your own IoT garden using Adafruit.io and Whippersnapper. This can help you keep track of your plants by logging data such as temperature and humidity. Our sensor node features a batch of Stemma breakouts that keep track of the air quality and humidity of the soil. All of the electronics are housed in a 3D printed enclosure that's also water resistant. This is powered by the CutiePie ESP32-S2 running Whippersnapper, Adafruit's no-code solution to IoT projects. Just stick this in the soil to monitor how wet or dry it is and log that data in a custom dashboard. The Adafruit Stemma soil sensor features capacitive measurements so it won't oxidize over time so you can reliably monitor the health of your plants. With Whippersnapper, you can create a beautiful dashboard with gauges and charts so you can visually monitor the health of your garden. Setting up your Stemma sensors is really simple and easy with Whippersnapper's built-in support for I2C devices. It's free to get started, just head over to io.adafruit.com. All of the breakouts are daisy chained together, making this a solder free project. Links to all the parts are in the description. To build the snap fit enclosure, you'll need to 3D print the parts in your favorite filament. We made a special case for the Stemma soil sensor to keep the circuitry nice and dry. The two halves snap fit together and feature slots for ventilation. Check out the learn guide for a full step by step tutorial on building the case and setting up your dashboard. This 6600 milliamp LiPo battery is placed at the bottom of the case and will provide many hours of data logging. The Cutie Pie is press fitted into the mount and secured in place with these little built in clips. The Stemma QT breakouts feature mounting holes so they can be secured with hardware screws. The SCD30 air quality sensor can be mounted to the bottom making this a compact modular circuit sandwich. To monitor power usage, we're using an additional LiPo battery monitor so we can be notified when it's time to recharge. This USB-C connector is wired up to a JST cable so we can easily power the Cutie Pie from the battery monitor. Now we can connect all the Stemma breakouts together and start logging some data. We hope this inspires you to check out Adafruit's Whippersnapper to start building your own IoT projects.